So how should we focus on that developer productivity? Should we be focusing on software platforms or should we be focusing on hardware infrastructure? Before you answer, uh, I think I'm going to predict that we're going to disagree on this one. So why don't we each state our case? Uh, I'll make my case for hardware infrastructure and you can make your case for software platforms. Ladies first. Okay. So I will claim that the, one of the easiest ways to in, in, increase developer productivity is to speed up the platform. Okay? So if you look at the end-to-end -end ML lifecycle, it is literally packed with infrastructure challenges that we are very optimized to help solve. This is driving a lot of the innovation that we're seeing within Facebook. We've got storage challenges that are making us rethink and redesign our storage infrastructure, network challenges, and compute challenges as well. So let's go through some of the compute challenges that we've had and how that has driven innovation within Facebook. Many of you may know that our hardware infrastructure is open source through the Open Compute program. So we are very transparent about the kinds of compute infrastructure that we're designing at Facebook. So let me walk you through the evolution of our machine learning training compute infrastructure. So back in 2013, we were one of the first to deploy GPUs into production for machine learning training. We started with a commodity system. From using that for a couple of years, we realized that we needed to innovate in order to meet some of our internal data center efficiency and power goals. So we designed Big Sur in 2015. As our machine learning use cases grew from there, we realized we needed a bit more flexibility. And so that's when we designed uh, Tioga Pass and Big Basin Volta that allowed us to disaggregate CPU and GPU to modify the ratios of the different types of com compute that we might need to do machine learning training. And now, as we look forward, the future is all about customization. So that's why we recently announced our Zion tr hardware training platform that leverages up to eight CPUs and up to eight uh, custom accelerators that meet the standard form factor that we've defined. And you get all of that for free uh, in order to increase developer productivity and um, overall iteration speed. You know, Kim, this is all awesome innovation. They're certainly speeding up the performance of how, can, how fast we can train. But um, how about usability? Try to, the worst thing that you could do is expose all this hardware complexity to ML engineers. Try to expose this complexity without an orchestration and a scheduling layer that can abstract away this hardware and make it easy to schedule on this different type of hardware capabilities. On top of that, we're running large scale distributed training jobs. When we run in this environment, failures are norm. So how do we develop a platform and a runtime environment that can provide resilient execution through checkpointing and can provide uh, reliability for this ML jobs? Machine learning engineers wanted to develop their pipelines as well. You need a set of development and deployment tools so that they can author their pipelines and deploy it to production with ease. Collectively, we refer to these layers of platforms as the FB Learner Flow platform. But that's not enough. On top of this, ML engineers want to distribute their model. They use deep learning, they have model parallelism, data parallelism. You want to scale these models. You want a platform to ease that uh, scalability. So we built the distributed training platform. We all know ML takes a lot of experiments. There's a lot of hyperparameter tweaking, feature engineering. There's a lot of model selection. So we built an auto-tuning platform to, all, to also help them uh, through this process. Collectively, we refer to this as the distributed AI platform. The FP Learner Flow platform and distributed AI platform form our experimentation management system that provide flexibility for ML engineers, hence increase their productivity.